14th of Frostfall. At Brynjolf's suggestion, I infiltrated a house that Mercer had in town to see what we could learn. I need you to break into Mercer's home. He has a house? And search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Mm, all right. A place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there. Just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Sounds like a perfect place to find out all his secrets. I'll take care of it. Be careful, lass. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Eh, I'll be fine. Just find a way in, get the information, and leave. Right. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Good. With all the security you mentioned, and knowing Mercer's level of paranoia, any thoughts on the best way to get into the place? Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. Ramp to the second floor balcony. Got it. And this ramp. I don't suppose it will be easy to access, eh? No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. <laughs> I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lure it in a hurry. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's Manor. I would. <laughs> you bet, Vex. I heard what happened, and the Guild owes you thanks for bringing this to light. Thanks, Danelia. All right, there's the watchdog. Does he have a key? Oh, I Good. Well, Brynn said I could kill anybody I wanted, so... Huh? Eee, I hope nobody heard that. I'd better hide this body just in case. There, and we'll close the gate. Nothing out of place here. Now, where is this ramp? Ah, there. And the mechanism? Yes, yes, I see it. I wonder if some fire will loosen it up. Oh, nice. what we can find. Ha! His secret hideout. That paranoid maniac. All right. Now to see what he's hiding down here. A treasure room. Oh! What's this? Mercer's plans, eh? Inside, I found plans for the biggest heist in Skyrim. Hmm. I don't know what this is, but it looks big. Stealing two enormous gems known as the Eyes of the Falmer. Hey, Brynn, I found something! It had apparently been Gallus's pet the project. Have spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Aye, he wasn't at the house either. But I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer. The what? That was Gallus's pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good. Set up for life. 
Well, then, we just have to stop him. Agreed. Good. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. I agree. Let's kill him. Be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a Nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. Before chasing after Mercer to interrupt his little scheme, Karalaya had a surprise in store for us. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riften, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. She took us to a hidden cavern right outside Riften, a place called Nightingale Hall, and offered us the chance to become Nightingales. There they are. Now, what's this all about, I wonder? I'm glad you're here. That standing stone with the symbol etched on it. Meeting here now, right before we go after Mercer. What's the significance of this place, Carlia? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales. Cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. The Nightingales. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. I think we can trust Carlia. Let's see what she's on about. You think? I don't care for all this secret voodoo stuff, Brynjolf. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? She said it Can was the hear? only way to gain the edge we Try needed to, to defeat Mercer. I'm no priest. I'm the only no catch religious. was that Why we had to pledge ourselves in both life and in death to Nocturnal. Get the armor from the stone, she says, and then put it on before meeting down the hall. For what, I wonder? Okay, lass, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a Nightingale. What? Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope in defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturne? Transact an oath with a Daedric Prince? <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't be the craziest thing I've ever done. I'm not totally clear on the terms. You're transacting the oath with Nocturnal, you're entering into a business deal. You'll be provided all of the power and knowledge befitting a Nightingale. You're free to use those powers as you see fit, to further your own goals, or the goals of the Thieves' Guild. Yes, that's not the part that worries me. What is expected of me in return? In return, you'll be required to defend the Twilight Sepulchre and everything within when the need arises. More importantly, upon your death, your spirit will be bound to the Twilight Sepulchre as one of its guardians. I see. And after giving my soul to Nocturnal, there is no going back? I almost laughed out loud at the terms. The terms I was already damned, existing in Are a state of living death. Ceremony? 
since my life and my soul had already been stolen from me, I had no problem offering them up. It was easy to give away something I no longer owned. I, I am ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. Time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Queen of Hear Murk and voice. Empress of Shadow? <laughs> Ah, Carlyle. Whoa! I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Okay. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. Oh, wish. Life like we had death. a choice. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth and grace. Revenge. How interesting. <laughs> Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturne. We accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your avengers and your sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. Ooh. And in the future, I I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Don't disappoint me again, Carlyle. <laughs> it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Eh? You mean he's done even more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulcher. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Ah, Delvin's if curse. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. All right then, let's go get that key. The Four second minutes, surprise was that Brynjolf asked me to take Let's over leadership the of the Guild. Hi Bryn, what is it? Listen, lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. I'd been I'm wondering if he would ask. You it here. seemed clear I to me that I was the, the ideal candidate. I Even could certainly steal and sweet talk result, circles around the rest of them. Make an excellent replacement for Mercer as leader of the Thieves Guild. Well, honestly, it's about time you asked. <laughs> Spoken like the leader of the Thieves Guild. With those two the pieces of business behind us, us, we, we resolve to meet at the Dwemer Ruins of Arkenthand. Brynjolf believed it to be the hiding the place for the eyes. Convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven Ruins at Arkenthand. Carlyle and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lass. This will be a fight to remember. All right. I'll see you at Urkenthand, and together, we'll take Mercer down. It was there we would confront and kill Mercer Frey.